Hello, everyone. Welcome to Find Music episode number 122. Yeah, where we find the music. And um, without my comrades today, because I'm doing a very special recording, to enter Larry Graves, aka Canadian Stud Muffins, double album, create a double album contest from two single albums. And to do that with five different acts or pairings. And so, uh, <clears throat> without further ado, I think I'll get started. Uh, okay, one piece of ado. Find music. We have already have 121 episodes. You can find them on YouTube. And on Facebook, there's a find music uh, group. You can join and you can do your own music recommendations or just anything musical. Put up memes even. All right, enough commercial. Back to the program. We have number one. NCC, I'm going to screen share it from my media player. Here we go. So to create a double album, I'm using 10CC's first album, 10CC, and their second album, Sheet Music. Because to me, they make great bookends. Both of them are just jam-packed with interesting songs. And uh, just to add one extra rule to the contest for myself, I want to be sure to choose combinations that would fit on one CDR because I like to make my own CDRs to listen to in the car and at home. So uh, this first album, like I said, so many good songs. Johnny Don't Do It, Santa My Face, Donna, Headline Hustler, Speed Kills, Rubber Bullets, The Hospital Song, which is really high comedy. Headline Hustler, I don't think it's the five star, four star. Pressure from My Mom is gorgeous. And there are really only 10 songs in the album. The rest are bonus tracks. Okay. And of course, that's divided up five per side for a double album. You have sides one, two, three, and four. So she music is kind of a similar situation. Similar in sound, similar in polarity. And uh, I forgot to mention that one other rule that Larry had is you need to uh, title this pairing. So I'm going to title this pairing The Worst Band in the World. Double album featuring 10CC and sheet music. Look at these great songs and sheet music. The Wall Street Shuffle, The Worst Band in the World, Old Wild Men, Very Witty, Clockwork Creep, Hyper Witty, Somewhere in Hollywood, Sublime, Silly Love, Good Rocker. And uh, that's 10 tracks. And there you have the first of my five part entry number one. Uh, the second one is going to be. Maybe I can just keep the screen share and then right on over to Bob Seeger. Far away alphabetically. There he is. Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band. Their two most famous albums, or their two best albums, in my opinion, are Night Moves and Stranger in Town. What a pairing they make. Very similar in sound. Also laden with great songs, both of them. And uh, I did forget to mention, you know, I said I want everything to fit on one CDR. I even timed it, uh, not hard to do, on a media player. 10 cc's uh, total time was 72 minutes, 15 seconds. And so this combination of Bob Seeger is working out to 76 minutes, 30 seconds. So really easy fit on one CDR. And look at these albums. Uh, there's one other thing I forgot to mention that is I look at the last song and see if it segues well into the first song of the other album. Here's a great example of that. Uh, Mary Lou is a very light hearted nostalgia piece. And it will launch into on the second album, third side, right side three would be Hollywood Nights. Really charged start, really good combination. 
And of course, the title of the collection together, I'm going to call it Old Time Rock and Roll. And what are these songs? Look at these, they're all fantastic. Rock and Roll Never Forgets, Night Moves, The Fire Down Below, Sunburst, Sunspot Baby, Main Street, Come to Papa, Ship of Pools, Mary Lou. Yeah, they're all good. Same thing's true with Stranger in Town, Hollywood Night, Still the Same, Old Time Rock and Roll, uh, Ballad Till It Shines, Feel Like a Number, really energetic tune. And uh, we've got tonight, probably what's launched his ballad career on the later albums. And the famous final scene is just fabulous closer. It really is. And uh, so that's number two. Let's go to number three. Then I go with, uh, let's see, put this all down. Who's going to be. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one's not from the 70s. Mike Oldfield. Famous for tubular bells in the 70s, but uh, I like these two 80s albums paired up. Get down there. Got a lot of music. Okay. Mike. Oldfield, there he is. And, of course, uh, there they are. 1983 and 1984's Crises and Discovery. I think they really pair up well. The personnel is pretty much the same. Uh, Crises is a move away from just doing long form like Amadon. And Crises is a 20 minute song, but this one has a lot of regular singing in it. And it is just a phenomenal track because in the last third you've got the drumming of Simon Phillips is just extraordinary then it gets into the songs right by two moonlit a moonlight shadow with Maggie Riley singing gorgeous in high places lives up to his title with John Anderson singing foreign affair back to Maggie Riley shadow on the wall Roger Chapman makes it rock and Taurus 3 is an instrumental, which is a great segue into Discovery's very strong set of songs. To France, Maggie Riley again. Poison Arrows, I think it's Roger Chapman again. Crystal Gazing, Maggie Riley. It's kind of boy, girl, boy, girl. Tricks of the Light, you got the man singing again. Discovery, I think it's the same fellow. Talk About Your Life, the Sweet Ballad, sung by Maggie Riley. Saved by a Bell, Back to the Guy. Good mid-tempo song, great drumming, again. And The Lake is a instrumental, 12 minutes, so it's uh, shorter than his album side ones and longer than his little ones like Taurus 3. So I think it makes a great finish. In fact, I'll go so far as to say The Lake is his best instrumental. Not a boring moment in those 12 minutes. And if I haven't said so already, what's the links putting them together? It's 7835 really fills up that CDR well. A lot of good listening. If you're not familiar with uh, the song albums by Mike Oldfield, these are the two best, Crises and Discovery. Okay, moving on. Going to head to another well known act. In the 80s, actually, 70s and 80s, Rush. This one, I'm afraid, might have been said by other entrants because it is an obvious one. The peak of Rush, are these two albums. I'm always forgetting that. Did I say the amalgamation of Michael Fields? I'm going to call it. Uh... There you go, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to call it uh, Tricks of the Light. That's one of the songs on there. I think it'd be a great title for the double album, Tricks of the Light. Okay, Rush, Moving Pictures and Permanent Waves. Of course, Permanent Waves chronologically goes first, 1980, Moving Pictures, 81. This is a very special time in Rush's career when they found their own sound. They were no longer imitating Led Zeppelin or Yes. 
Uh, they really found their own sound here, and this is extraordinary. You look at Permanent Waves, it starts off with the spirit of radio, and I, I think that's what I'm going to call this double album, the spirit of radio. Free Will, they're all, all these songs are fantastic. Those are the radio songs, Jacob's Ladder, Entre Nous, Different Strings, Natural Science. Bit of an epic at nine minutes, and that will lead into a very strong second half. Tom Sawyer, they're probably their best song. Best single song, you know. I think of 2112, that's pretty extraordinary sweet. But Tom Sawyer is probably the best single song, and this is so strong, the first side. Tom Sawyer, Red Barchetta, YYZ, and Limelight. All killer, no filler, yeah. And the second side, which is not as commercial, but it's still strong, very strong. The Camera Eye, Witch Hunt, and Vital Science for a finisher. What a great double album that is. And uh, let's see. I'm almost forgetting the times. Rush, rush. 75 minutes, 43 seconds. Nice and cozy. Uh, which brings me to the last one of the necessary five for this first entry. I'm going to go with, this is a, quite a natural to do, Steve Miller, the Steve Miller band. Let me get down to Steve here. Let's go take a track, a lot of S packs out there. There we go. And I'm going to go with those two best albums that everybody knows. Fly Like an Eagle and Book of Dreams. Fly Like an Eagle came out in 76. I think Book of Dreams was the next year. Let's check. Well, it doesn't say that's a reissue there. So I think it was 77 or 78. So they have a very big similarity in production. All right, they got the spacey interludes and then just packed with great songs. Fly Like an Eagle, Wild Mountain Honey is delightful. Serenade, kind of dreamy. Dance, 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 up-tempo, Mercury Blues. It's got that old-time flavor. Take the Money and Run, the hit, Rockin' Me, another hit, a rocker. And even the rest is good. You Send Me is old-time. Blue Odyssey is an interlude. Sweet Marie, uh, probably the gentlest song on the album. And The Window will take us to the second part of the double album, Book of Dreams. And uh, I'm going to call this double album Threshold because I think that encapsulates the, the atmosphere, the very atmospheric quality of both of these albums because he's got these interludes uh, between just a barrage of good songs. Jet Airliner, I think that was a hit. Winter Time, Dreamy, Swingtown, Got the Blues, True Fine Love, Bluesy Pop, Wish Upon a Star, Very Dreamy, Jungle Love, Rockin', Danceable, Interlude, and uh, The Stake really jumps out at me. That's such a strong rock song. It's got its own flavor and, uh, and the gentler ending of Babes in the Wood. Great double arm. consistent sound. Uh, it's a great listening experience. Give it a try. In fact, I'm going to stop the share now so I can say to your face that this is my entry, Larry Graves. Just going to recap real quick. For episode 122 of Fine Music, I usually work with three other people, but I'm doing this solo. We give our recommendations. Uh, we uh, record every Monday at noon, and then I put it up on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube, like I said before, and a Facebook group, Find Music. Okay, recapping, 10CC and sheet music become the worst band in the world. They're a witty bunch, uh, you know that. Bob Seeger, the Silver Bullet Band, old time rock and roll, yeah. His two best albums, Night Moves and Stranger in Town. 
Mike Oldfield, who I think doesn't get enough credit for how good his 80s work was. It's really good. Good song craft. Crises and Discovery become, what did I call it again? I called it Tricks of the Light. Yeah. I just thought uh, that reflects his style. Right? He, he is, he's good at inserting interesting things into the songs. The instrumentation of the drummer, Sam Phillips, is always stellar. And uh, what's left? We got Rush. Kind of easy to say. Their two best albums, Permanent Waves and Moving Pictures, become... What do I do on them again? <laughs> Becomes the spirit of radio. That's right. Spirit of radio. Because that's really when Rush caught on on the radio. Hit radio. And finally, the Steve Miller band, Threshold, captures the spirit of his two best albums that everybody knows, Fly Like an Eagle and Book of Dreams. So I hope you like my entry, Larry. And uh, wish me luck, people. Catch the series, find music. We've got 121 episodes already. Yeah.